Oh, great. Now I'm the bad guy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Disney villains. I'll never hide. I can't. I'm too shiny. Our time has arrived. Gosh, think of the headline. For this list, we'll be looking at the animated big bads that deserve more attention. We won't be looking at Pixar villains or live-action rogues because they each deserve lists of their own. Life is cruel. Why should the afterlife be any different? Since we'll be talking about their evil actions, beware of minor spoilers ahead. Who do you think is the most underrated animated Disney villain? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Percival C. McLeach, The Rescuers Down Under The Rescuers movies are underrated all around, and that goes double for their villains. Madame Medusa from the 1977 film is a solid enough antagonist. You force them to like you, idiot! But the sequel ramps things up with a villain who's a refreshing mix of viciousness and realism. That's no secret, boy. You see, I already got the father. <laughs> you just tell me where mama and those little eggs are. A poacher looking for that next big bounty, Percival is an unflinchingly cruel person driven primarily by profit. Don't you realize a bird that size is worth a fortune? He also genuinely enjoys treating animals cruelly. As the movie goes along, Percival seems to rather quickly embrace the prospect of harming any human who stands in his way too. Intimidating and sinister in a chillingly human way, Percival makes for a great villain that should be more well known. You think twice before messing with Percival C. McLeans! <laughs> Number 9. Professor Radigan, The Great Mouse Detective The world's greatest mouse detective needs a rival of equal cunning and notoriety. Oh, I love it when I'm nasty. Voiced by the legendary Vincent Price, Radigan is a towering criminal with the intelligence and ambition to push Basil to his limit. I have so many ingenious ideas, I didn't know which to choose. So, I decided to use them all. Marvelous, isn't it? Relentlessly evil and unapologetically showy, Radigan has an ego the size of a blimp and the charisma to sell schemes involving robots and Big Ben. An even grimmer plot has been simmering in my great criminal brain. Debuting in an era where Disney animated films weren't doing so well, he didn't reach the level of acclaim as other notable villains. But Radigan's unpredictability made him an extremely memorable antagonist. His sophisticated demeanor seems to always be on the verge of collapsing, giving way to a fit of intense rage and sharp teeth. Number 8. William Clayton, Tarzan A descent into pure villainy can be a lot of fun to behold. Tarzan's Clayton is never an especially likable fellow, but the hunter is amiable enough in the film's initial stages. If I can teach a parrot to sing God Save the Queen, I can certainly teach this savage a thing or two. Gorilla. Only once Clayton completely stops playing nice with the porters do his true intentions come out. He actually wants to capture and sell gorillas to make a fortune. I said sorry about the rude welcome, old boy, but I couldn't have you making a scene when we put your furry friends in their cages. As Tarzan becomes more in touch with his humanity, Clayton becomes progressively more violent and uncaring, eventually losing any semblance of self-control. His engaging character arc definitely deserves more credit. Overall, Clayton makes for a strong and fearless opponent for Tarzan to overcome. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, not a man like you! Number 7. Horned King, The Black Cauldron Disney villains are not typically known for their subtlety, but the Horned King wears his evilness out in the open for everyone to see. Oh, my soldiers. How long I have thirsted to be a god among mortal men. The Black Cauldron is at least a contender for Disney's darkest animated film, and a lot of that comes down to its chilling antagonist. 
The Horned King has no time for flair, theatrics, humor, or petty schemes. This monarch wants to rule the world and has no patience for nonsense. Perhaps it may interest you to see what fate has in store for you. <laughs> In some ways, the Horned King is the most honest Disney villain, as no attempt is made to soften his wickedness. Since the movie didn't do great at the box office, the Horned King hasn't gotten the attention he deserves. My power cannot die. Curse you! Number 6. The Coachman, Pinocchio. Things are about to get uncomfortably real. I'm collecting stupid little boys. Through the promise of an adult-free zone that offers endless entertainment, boys are lured into the coachman's namesake ride. It's basically Pinocchio's equivalent of a windowless van. The children are then taken to Pleasure Island, an amusement park that makes donkeys out of its visitors. Give a bad boy enough rope and he'll soon make a check off of himself. The coachman entices his young victims with the promise of freedom, takes them away from their homes, and sells them into endless servitude. Somehow, the absolutely terrifying coachman isn't even the main villain of Pinocchio. He definitely has the motivation and intimidation factor to be the big bad of his own film. I want to go home to my mama! Take him back! He can still talk! Number 5. Commander Lyle Tiberius Rourke, Atlantis The Lost Empire Greed is a powerful motivator. Atlantis The Lost Empire follows an expedition to the legendary city, with Commander Rourke steering the ship. First coming across as a stern but honest pragmatist, Rourke eventually reveals himself to be someone far more cunning and devilish. Commander, there were not supposed to be people down here. This changes everything. This changes nothing. Seeking riches at the expense of the Atlanteans, Rourke only played along so he could get himself into the Lost Empire. Once there, the commander only seeks to acquire his fortune. Rourke proves to be rather heartless and calculating, even going as far as to harm a helpless king. Plans change, Doc. I'd suggest you put a bandage on that bleeding heart of yours. It doesn't suit a mercenary. Well, as usual, diplomacy has failed us. The disappointing box office haul meant this villain was kept out of the spotlight, but anyone who loves this movie knows that Rourke is not to be messed with. I love it when I win. Number 4. Mother Gothel, Tangled In the pursuit of endless youth and the flower taken from her, Gothel kidnaps a baby with magic hair and pretends to be her mother for 18 years. Mother Gothel proves to be a talented actress and storyteller, willing to play a long con to ensure that Rapunzel fears the outside world. Skip the drama, stay with mama, mother. While performing the part of a protective parent, Gothel manipulates Rapunzel by constantly attacking her self-esteem. Why would he like you? Come on now, really. Look at you! You'll think that he's impressed? Don't be a dummy. Come with mommy. She even sings peppy tunes with dark underlying messages. Driven by selfishness and fear of death, Gothel is a complex villain. But her malicious ways and the movie were overshadowed by Toy Story 3 that year. However, we think Mother Gothel knows best about being a good villain. Now look what you've done, Rapunzel. Oh, don't worry, dear. Our secret will die with him. Number 3. Hades, Hercules Disney's ruler of the underworld might be unabashedly evil, but this god is an absolute riot. Let's get ready to rumble! Hades oozes personality out of every fiber of his being. A smooth talking salesman with a killer pitch, Hades matches a fiery temper with a twisted sense of humor that could even impress the genie. We dance, we kiss, we schmooze, we carry on, we go home happy. What do you say? Come on. As this deity is surrounded by plenty of strong Greek figures, Hades relies on his mind to pull off his schemes. This villain is definitely the underdog in the world and in his family. Susie, I'm home! Hades, you're behind this? You're correct, sir! Many Hercules fans feel like the movie is still underappreciated. But that's certainly no fault of Hades, who gives a fiery performance. What? <sighs> okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. Number 2. Yzma, The Emperor's New Groove An energetic villain with lofty ambitions, 
Yzma is a delight and perhaps the best part of a generally good cult film. Voiced by the iconic Eartha Kitt, Yzma's madness manages to match the Emperor's new groove's manic pace, and the villain is an expert at coming up with creatively complex plans. And then I'll mail that box to myself, and when it arrives, ah, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer! It's brilliant, 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 I tell you! Genius, I say! Forming an entertaining duo with Kronk, Yzma is ultimately a comedic character, whose grand schemes basically end up being thwarted by shenanigans and slapstick. What? A llama? He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. While perhaps not the most threatening character in Disney history, Yzma is so incredibly entertaining that she should be held up as one of the best villains the Mouse House ever created. And once I turn back into my beautiful self, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Edgar Balthazar, The Aristocats. Losing a fortune to a cat is a believable motive that needs more attention. Rock a bike, it is bye bye you go. La 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 la, and I'm in the dough. Oh, Edgar, you sly old fox. William Bill Sykes, Oliver and Company. This brutal loan shark is underappreciated in an underrated movie. Now, I lent you money, and I don't see it. Do you know what happens when I don't see my money, Fagin? People get hurt. People like you get hurt. Dr. Facilier, the princess and the frog. His viciousness and charm make him deserving of much more praise. I can read your future. I can change it around some too. I look deep into your heart and soul. You do have a soul, don't you, Lawrence? Make your wildest dreams come true. Madam Mim, The Sword in the Stone. This witch is a blast in a movie that got a mixed reception. Sounds like someone sick. How lovely. <laughs> I do hope it's serious. Something dreadful. John Silver, Treasure Planet. This half-robot cook with a touch of humanity was in an underrated movie. And when the time comes, you get the chance to really test the cut of your sails and show what you're made of. Well, I hope I'm there, catching some of the light coming off you that day. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Judge Claude Frollo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame This judge introduces himself by attacking and killing an innocent woman and nearly harming a baby. Somehow, Frollo only gets worse from here. The Hunchback of Notre Dame tends to be a polarizing film, but the cartoon's main villain stands among the vilest and most hateable in Disney history. Burn it. What? Until it smolders, these people are traitors and must be made examples of. Frollo abuses his position of power while believing that he holds the moral high ground. An infatuation with Esmeralda sends Frollo completely off the rails. A descent immortalized in the fantastic Hellfire sequence. Hellfire, this fire in my skin, this burning desire is turning me to sin. When it comes to Disney animated films, few villains are as realistic as Frollo which just makes him all that more intense and deserving to be the top Disney villain here. And he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.